Alright folks, it's time to solve for a water resources problem. I have a sample problem here and it's a Manning equation. Um, it's a circular channel flowing partially full. Solving for a flow rate uh, in cubic feet per second. The given values are diameter of the pipe 4 feet, depth of water 3 feet, Manning's N, roughness coefficient of the pipe is 0 0.012 and the slope of the pipe is 0 0.002 or 0.2 percent. Now one of the uh, methods in calculating this uh, flow rate is to use the table that can be found in the appendix of the CIRM or Civil Engineering Reference Manual. Um, First, we need to find the value of a smaller d divided by the larger d. The smaller d is the depth of water, and the larger d is the diameter of the pipe, which is 0.75. Now, in the table at the appendix of the CIRM, look horizontally from uh, d over d, and you'll find the corresponding value of r over d, and a over d squared. These are the two values that we need to solve the flow rate because r is part of the equation right there which is the hydraulic radius and a is also a part of the equation which is the area of water. Now r over d is 0 0.3017 that corresponds to this value 0.75. So it's easy to calculate the hydraulic radius now since we have uh, the given value of the diameter of the pipe which is 4 feet multiply that by 0 0.3017 and we get the hydraulic radius of 1.2068 feet. Same thing for the area. <coughs> D is also the uh, diameter of the pipe to get the area, multiply the uh, four, four feet squared times 0.6317 and you'll get the area of water which is 10.1088 square feet. Now we can now calculate the flow rate by substituting those values 1.49 divided by 0 0.012 times 10 0.1088 square feet and that's the area times 1.2068 feet which is the hydraulic radius to the two-third times 0 0.002 which is the slope to the one-half and now we get the flow rate of 63.63 .63 cubic feet per second alright to use my equation from my book Useful equations for HP35S or HP33S calculator for the civil PE exam. It's the uh, equation number 118, which is circular partially full solving for Q. Just press enter, and all we have to do is plug in those values. Uh, C is the uh, constant, which is 1.49 for English unit then RS. N is the uh, Manning's N coefficient which is 0 0.012 RS. H is the depth of water which is 3 feet RS. And D is the diameter of the pipe which is 4 feet. And of course the S is the slope which is 0 0.002 RS and it's solving for Q and there you go it's 63.6307 cubic feet per second and also what if the water is flowing like like that which is below the center of the pipe same thing we're gonna do 
uh, d over d and then look for the r over d value and a over d squared value and then substitute that in the equation you get a q of 23.515 and if I use uh, the, the equation which is the same equation 118 go to equation and then press enter 1.49 it's the same just press RS and it's 0.012 it's the same just again RS H is uh, it's not 3 anymore it's 1.6 so 1.6 then RS diameter of the pipe still the same 4 feet run stop RS I mean the S is a uh, slope 0 0.002 the same thing run stop and we have a 23.5149 did we get the right value I guess we did so that's how you solve the flow rate partially full alright and uh, not only uh, you can calculate the flow rate you can also calculate the slope um, let's say if the, uh, uh, the the given values are you know Q and S and diameter if you need to find the slope just go to the equation the same equation let's say uh, going back to this equation you need to find the slope all you have to do is press the blue arrow and then solve S S is uh, this one all right let's see if uh, the Q is given which is 63 0.63 run stop C is 1.49 run stop and is 0 0.012 run stop H is 3 okay and D is 4 feet and, and it's gonna solve for the slope and there's the slope which is 0 0.002 all right, that's how you use the equation um, circular channel flowing partially full. Thank you for watching.